YGL Strat's single card discussion is going to be talking about some of the cards that have impacted Yu-Gi-Oh throughout the years. Today's card, the most divisive of the draw two spell cards, Pot of Desires. Desires was first released in The Dark Illusion in 2016. As of the making of this video, it has been reprinted in the 2017 Megatons, the Order of Spellcaster Structure Deck and OTS Tournament Pack 11 in 2019, as well as Toon Chaos and the Sacred Beast Structure Deck in 2020. A normal spell card, its effect reads, Banish 10 cards from the top of your deck face down, draw 2 cards. You can only activate one Pot of Desires per turn. Forget a Klondike bar. You do? to draw two cards. When this card was announced, it was met with one of two reactions. An amazing plus one, or a horrible neg nine. Basically meaning some people saw the card and focused on draw two, and others couldn't wrap their head around banishing what's for most people a quarter of your entire deck. Which, to be fair, isn't that outlandish at first glance. Like, it's a quarter of your deck banished face down. There's only a handful of cards that can actually get them back. Things like Cyframe, Lord Omega, or Necroface. Uh, but basically, if the card lists banished card and not something like banished monster or anything like that, it, it can get the card back. But the few cards that can get them back don't generally see wide play outside of very specific decks. So whatever's lost to desires will be lost for the rest of the duel in like 99 out of 100 cases. I mean, hell, even putting numbers, it's pretty crazy to think about. In a 40 card deck, activating Desire's turn one will put you from 35 cards in deck down to 23, which leads naysayers to ask, when is losing a quarter of your deck good? Uh, the answer, when it draws you two of your combo pieces and starters, that's when. Got him! <laughs> it really is just that easy of an argument. I, I know, but like actually, it, it really is uh, that simple. Outside of that Mystic Mind Duel where you refused to uh, accept defeat uh, out of spite and hatred, there are almost no duels that go to the point where you will get through more than, say, half your deck. Banishing 10 cards you most likely wouldn't see anyways to get two in your hand in exchange for one can be massive. This game has countless one card starters that lead to an explosive turn. Oviraptor, Tour Guide, Deep Sea Diva, Uni Zombie, you name it. But for all you number people out there, here is a quick ish list of your chances of banishing your cards when you play Desires. Now, this is all assuming all copies of a given card are in the deck when you activate Desires and that the deck is 40 cards since that's a good majority of decks in Yu-Gi-Oh. If you play three of any given card, when you activate Desires, there's only a 1.8% chance to banish all three copies. Not even a full 2%, just 1.8. The odds of banishing both copies of a 2 of, only 7.6%. Banishing any given 1 of, 28.6%, meaning it's only really going to happen on average 1 in 3 games. The chances of drawing a copy of a card you play 3 of, roughly 23%. Drawing a 2 of is 15.7%, and drawing a 1 of is 8%. And uh, I think uh, we can all agree here the most important one, the odds of drawing a second copy of Desires, it's about 15%. So uh, basically just skip the 15% of the duels where you draw the second Desires, you're good. Desires is a card that nets you advantage, plain and simple. It's not a neg 9 because of the cards you banish, it's a plus 1 because of the cards you draw. In Yu-Gi-Oh, the main thing holding you back from playing your cards is drawing them, getting them into your hand. There's no mana or energy cost or anything of the sort, so if you get a card, broadly speaking, you can just play it, and Desires turns one card into two which is massive. Plus, that's not to mention, Desires is a special one amongst the pot series of cards. Duality will prevent special summoning the turn you activate it. Extravagance and Prosperity both prevent drawing more cards that turn, and Prosperity also cuts the damage your opponent takes in half. But Desires only has a once per turn clause. You can play Desires at any point in your turn and then do anything else you want. Just, uh, don't cheat. Despite appearing to be the most expensive at first glance, I think you'll find that Desires really is the least expensive draw to legal card in the game. Ultimately, you watching this video know if you like Desires or not. All the math in the world can't change the mind of a man who banished both copies of Seer in Monarch format in 2016 and cost himself the duel. It's true, it's not great in every deck. The more Garnets you play, the less Desires is going to benefit you. But if your deck has enough 3 ofs, Desires can seriously 
help your deck out. In the game of Yu-Gi-Oh, never underestimate the power of draw two cards. And so that concludes our look at Single Card Discussions Pot of Desires. Stay tuned for the next video, feel free to suggest anything else you might want to see. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time on YGO Strats.